Hello, this is Jenna with Groovy Vintage, and I just wanted to do a quick review of some of the things that we will be uh, ha that will be in our next live sale on Tuesday. Um, it is an all ephemera sale, and I'm still not through going through everything, so this is a large portion. But it, but there will be probably some other stuff. Um, first, we have the Parker Brothers. It's a Lynch game. Um, I was going to see. I thought I saw a date on it. 1983. And then I just have some cards. Uh, they have the union label. And service trades department. And they've never been opened. We have... Rook. Uh, let's see if I, I don't see. I don't see a date on these this offhand. Oh, 1978 Parker Brothers Rook. Um, Uno. Now this isn't just too old. Uh, let's see, 2002, but it's the Peanuts version of Uno. So let me get the tin. They're in a tin. And uh, they have been used, but to my knowledge, everything is in, and that's what each one. And look, this this skip is Snoopy, and so they're all different on the cards. Um, so that will be in the sale. Hey, Lamont, can you hand me those Sears and Roebuck catalogs? Next, we have the Group Word Teaching Game, 1944. Um, the 1902 edition of Sears and Roebuck Catalog. The 1900 edition of the Sears and Roebuck Catalog. And the 1908 edition. It's going to make the camera go down just a little. So those three catalogs will be up for grabs. We're also going to have um, just big lots of old pictures. I'm not going to go through all of them for the preview, but just know we'll have this. This bag will be $10. Um, so we're gonna have several different bags of photos. Like there's a photo of a, of an, and oh, I also forgot these. We have these Norman Rockwell. I don't know that they're they're very old, but I like them, and they're still in their package. And this is just a deck of cards. Um, more old photos. Then I come across, when I was going through this pile of ephemera that I had accumulated, um, some old handmade Valentines. And, um, one, like one says, our eyes have met, but lips not yet, but oh, you kid, I'll get you yet. So I just packaged those up. This probably, uh, okay, so one of them apparently isn't handmade because it says February 14th, 1917. So it's just little, I know it's past Valentine's, but I, I knew that somebody would probably like those. Another package of old um, old photos. We have a lot of old photos. Um, we have some interesting things here. We have a Tiger Handbook from Lakewood High School. Uh, so this is the high school handbook. Uh, and it belonged to Sue Martin, revised 1958. We have this leather bound Happy Days CCC and 
I don't know where. I, I did some research and figured out what the CCC was, but it's got old pictures in it and it's leather bound. I'll just show you, um, well, first, we have uh, the Wolf Cub Scout book, and it has, it's a little, uh, it's seen better days, but we sold a couple uh, Cub Scout books. We have an old beekeeping magazine. Um, I was going to see if it had a date in it. Right off hand, I don't see a date. Oh, 10th edition, June 1950. Then we have the Knots Landing, and, and it's a final draft of the first, the very first episode of Knots Landing. And it says January 22nd, 1979. And it is signed. Uh, this is the first episode ever. Michelle Lee, 94. Um, we have. Now these I thought were interesting. They're photos, but not only are they photos, they're photos used for advertisements for photographers. So all of these are photos, uh, photo advertisements for the different photographers. So there's a lot of those. Then we found um, a, a lot of postcards. So all of these are postcards and they're picture postcards. We also have some, I thought these were very interesting. Some, um, let me open that. Let me pull one out. This is a ration check from the 1940s. And we have, I don't know how many of these we have. There they are, that's what it looks like. Um, at least over 10, there's over 10. It's a little baggie of the ration checks. We have a manual for courts martial, USA Army, 1928, corrected to April 20th, 1943. Then we have some more photos in this. So we're gonna sell this whole bin of photos for $15. I will just go ahead and whip out. A, we'll just grab the first one on top. And some of them have dates and others do not. Um, but all of these in here, most of them anyway, uh, are in little jackets like this. Uh, here we have this, and of course there's nothing written on it. So I don't know what it's all about. Maybe a family. So those photos will be up for grabs. Another lot of photos. I was just reading because this photo in the back. So here's the photo and it says, Miss Miss Snow, Miss Matthews, Miss Hattie O. Neal, maybe. Miss Mason, Miss Louise, Miss Brainers, or maybe that's Miss Cruz. Um, oh, and it says something class, Mount Carroll. Something, 1866, here on what you'll see. Um, yeah, graduating, this graduating class, Mount Carroll, Snow, 
Seminary? I think it says Mount Carroll Seminary. Anyway, so that will be in a lot. Um, we have lots of little books that we'll kind of put together. Uh, On Duty for God and Country, April, May, June, 1945. And it's a little Bible. It has little uh, verses and stuff in it. And on the back, it has the calendar. Then we have two little booklets like this. And this are, these are checkbooks, old checkbooks. And they've got leather, it feels like leather. And we have two of them. So I thought that was interesting. We also have two of these little um, notepads, Chicago, Rock Island, and Pacific Railroad Company. So it's little pads that the railroad would fill out. And we have two of those. We have a station book for Rock Island, uh, 1974. Maintenance of style S, AC and DC signals, February 1930. Um, this is the Union Switch and Signal Company. So, um, I'm pretty sure it's still uh, about, well, I don't know. I don't know that it is trains. But anyway, that's what that is. Um, we found some three more old, no, more than three. We found one two, three, five more um, old driving maps that will go up for sale. Um, we have, I think it's five, the helmet new, the hammock, I always want to say helmet, and it's the hammock news, hammock, California, uh, Friday, April 16th, 1948, and they are full magazines, and we have We have several, we have five of them and they're all different. Then, last but not least, we have scrapbooks. So this says, movie scrapbook, like 30s to 42. And this scrapbook is the neatest scrapbook. She or he, I'm assuming it's a she, has kept all kinds of, of newspaper clippings from movies. Uh, I can't remember what the name of that movie is. But I, I, it, it, I know I've seen it. Uh, it's Spencer Tracy and Katherine Kath, Hepburn. But I, I, I don't know. Then we have Donald Duck signs up. This is actually in color. The Grapes of Wrath Beneath Red Tape in Missouri. Uh, Porgy and Bess Revival is bigger hit than original show. And so they have just kept uh, the second front threat keeps the Nazis jittery. Anyway, so it's just, I'm not sure that that was movie actually now that I think about it. So, um, she has April 13th, 1931 written on here. Then we have a Gloria Jean scrapbook. A Gloria Jean scrapbook, and it, 1940, let me see. August 1940 to February 12th, 42. And inside it, um, it's just different newspaper clippings and 
America's Pacific Paradise, which felt the first shock of war, Sunday, December 21st, 1941. So it's a really neat book also to go through. Um, we have one scrapbook. I'll show it to you like this. It is not bound. It has lost its bounding, and it's just, it, the front and the back is still here. All of the pages are still in it, but they are uh, not bound together at all, and, and it, all the pictures, front and back. This says 1935. 1936 so it's just picture after picture of different people and so that will be going up i think it would be be neat to have it rebound um here we have another it says world events 1940. it's a little angle that down a little bit more. It's a little more um, plain on the front. St. Louis ice pictures from the falls. Um, so it's got a lot of interesting things in it though. I was looking and reading. I'll show you that. So it's newspaper clippings. All of this is newspaper clippings. Um, and then one newspaper, the Prescott Courier, and it's the whole newspaper. Family of Seven, Slain in Phoenix, Sunday, September 5th, 1971. So it is... Um, the, the, like I said, it is the whole newspaper. So that is what I've got so far. Oops, sorry, let me let y'all back up. Well, easier said than done. That is what I've gotten so far. I did just want to kind of put something out there just so some people uh, will kind of have an idea of what we're going to have. I know we have a few more scrapbooks and um, I have a whole pile that I, I've still got to go through and pull out some stuff and so we really hope that you join us on tuesday uh, i don't know what the date is but it's tuesday at seven o'clock central standard time and it we will uh i think it's eight o'clock eastern actually i think it's eight o'clock eastern and um we'll go more in depth we'll show i'll show you We'll show you more uh, in depth these things, but that's kind of a quick preview of what I've what I've already got so far, and and like I said, there will be more. So we hope that you come back on Tuesday and see what we have.